What's up everybody? If you are in the market for a new tailgate pad for your truck, specifically one that'll work with a tunnel cover or a topper shell, you're gonna really wanna check this review out. It's a product we've been using for the last six months, so stay tuned as we talk about DeKine's all new universal pickup pad. So first off, the new universal tailgate pad is a solid offering all around, right? Even if you take away the fact that it can be used with a tonneau cover or a topper shell, uh, if you never need it for that feature and you just want to use it as a tailgate pad, we have been very happy with it. Uh, it retails for $295. It's available in a small and large size. Obviously here on the old Ford Maverick, we've got the small size. Uh, which will accommodate five bikes. The large will accommodate seven bikes. Uh, there are basically uh, several webbing loops on both sides with Velcro straps to secure the bike and a pretty cool uh, EVA foam padded down to protector as well as fork protectors. And apparently DeKine brought this kind of traction pad material over from their surf side. Um, it's pretty cool to see, and I think it does a good job of offering a little bit of cushion and support and also keeping those bikes locked in well. Uh, one little complaint that we have is about the size of the webbing uh, relative to the size of these Velcro straps. Um, some bikes that are wider, right? Like right now we have the RE Tempeq uh, e-bike in here, plenty of space and room. Uh, however, with some of the wider bikes or when you have a lot of bikes going in there, it can be really tough to get this Velcro strap through because of how close it is to this foam padding. Um, so I think, you know, it would just be nice to have a little bit bigger of a gap between that webbing so that you could feed this through a little bit easier. It can get a little bit time consuming. If you're in a hurry, uh, fingers are cold, wet, muddy, whatever, but it's a pretty minor complaint, but still one that we wanted to point out because there's not really much else that we have to say negative about the thing. So uh, moving on. It's got a microfiber backing material here to keep the paint protected as it can be on your truck. There is a PE board on the inside to help retain shape. 100% recycled 900D material that is UV coated and protected. Uh, as I said, we've had this here in the Central Oregon sun, snow, road contaminants, you name it, for six months, and it has held up quite well. Uh, it is secured to the truck via four straps that run under the tailgate itself, and they have four spring-loaded cams that actually work really well. Uh, the pad stays place, stays place, and uh, the straps don't move, which is really nice. Uh, speaking of keeping things in place, it is cable lock friendly, uh, so if you're looking for that added bit of security, Rest assured you've got that. Uh, nice little reflective hit down here for some added safety in the low vis conditions. Um, other than that, from a bike holding standpoint, very impressed. The bikes stay put, they stay protected. The foam up here on the fork has kept the back of the tailgate safe and protected. Uh, nice, obviously, for the fork uh, lowers, or, or sorry, for the fork stanchions. The down tubes have remained nice and protected here as well. Uh, so now let's just go ahead and pull these two bikes off real quick and we'll show you how easy it is to flip this back and over to access or use the tonneau cover or camper shell feature. Uh, something else I forgot to mention with the bikes now out of the way, there is a removable window. Uh, so tailgate handle access or backup camera, uh, that's a really nice feature. And there's also a storage compartment on the back of the pouch here. Uh, so that way you can store that little flap or any other little odds and ends you might want to put in there. It's not huge, but enough. Uh, so again, moving to remove the pad, you're just going to undo those hooks down there, which is pretty quick and easy to do. Similar G style hooks can be found right here and here. And then you're just going to flip that over. And then as you can see, non padded, very thin, and essentially that will allow you to roll the tunnel cover up over and still get it to lock. Uh, we don't have a shell, so I couldn't test that for you, but, uh, DeKine has ensured that this is designed to work with a shell, so we gotta take their word for it on that end. Um, but all in all, that is uh, how this pad works. Pull it back over, you can see all the Velcro here to try to line up. Obviously, depending on the thickness of your tailgate pad, 
that may or may not work, but get these clipped back on. And then you're back in business and ready for moving bikes. Uh, so all in all, what do I think of the pad? If, if it hasn't been made clear already, I really like it. Uh, I'm a big fan. I like the little traction pad materials here. I like the amount of foam and padding they have. Uh, for better or worse, some people don't like having the pre-slot positions of where bikes need to go, um, which I tend to agree with. Sometimes it is nice being able to kind of cheat or move stuff as you wish, but five bikes in this little bed is pretty tight uh, and doesn't mean I have much else in there and definitely no pedals on the outside bikes just to get them to the edge of the bed. But four bikes is no problem. They stay put, they ride well, they don't shift or move or roll over. So um, overall, I've been very impressed and pleased. My only complaint, like I said, is that I wish the loops here of that webbing were just a little bit more spacious so I could feed that strap through a little bit easier, especially when there's a bike on the rack. But other than that, I think for the price, how well this has been holding up and moving bikes so far, I, I can't say enough good things about it. So props to Dekine for stepping it up here with the universal pickup pad. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or other pads that you guys really like, let us know down in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you out on the trails.